So I heard you want to play Rust. But you like, Scotty, I only have a rock and a torch. What am I supposed to do? That's when I say, ma'am, could you please calm down? <laughs> Welcome to my newest video, guys. This is a tutorial on how to play Rust. Uh, I'm going to walk you through on how to get your first uh, kill, your first base, and your first gun. Uh, these are the three things I think people struggle with the most and uh, I don't blame them because you know you log in yes you, you're awake now and you get instantly killed or you try to make a friend with somebody and they backstab you and now you've lost everything and you spend 30 to 45 minutes and you're just like dang now I don't have anything and like I'm just not gonna play this game but before you give up watch this video give it a try this is my meth methodology on how to play this game and the most successful techniques that I use. Obviously, this game is full of uh, surprises, good luck, bad luck. Um, so no situation will ever be the same. And even if you die or you die again or you die and have lost most of your stuff, always remember to just take breaks, guys. Um, I know I get too into this game if I play for too long and I'm you know, just wanting to get more and more and more. Um, so just remember to take your breaks, guys, because this game is super high intense and uh, it's <laughs> super high stress in moments. But then again, it's really fun for that reward. And that's my train. Thank you for stopping by, train, right when I'm doing my introduction. I appreciate it. Thank you. Go away now. Goodbye. 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 Um, don't mind that. It's just stupid train. Anyways, guys, this is the tutorial. Let me know what you think if you have any, uh, want to see any more. You want to see a, like a mid-tier thing or if you have any questions. Enjoy, guys. Rule number one. Don't ever be a big dumb. We have spawned into a new map. Uh, Restify.com long or medium. Or I don't even know. Anyways, this is what's going to happen. You spawn in. You boom, you look at your map, you press G, you zoom in, you see where you are, you pick a monument. You pick one of these small time monuments. You could do a supermarket, you could do harbor, you could do outpost, um, you could do supermarket, or you could do lighthouse. Uh, I would very much encourage you guys to base by these areas just because of the uh, lushness of the grass, um, the grass and forest biomes, which offer lots of cloth, mushroom pickups, which are good for small heels, um, but mainly for the uh, obviously all those good pickups and being close to a recycler. A recycler is going to be your best friend primarily because you can get anything pretty much almost well I'd probably say 90% of items you can put into a recycler and you can get something out for it. So as you're going across the landscape you'll also not notice uh, little barrels and now barrels usually spawn on roads or uh, below power lines and around monuments trash, so there are power lines here now when you're building or thinking about building your first base you want to think about all these things you want to make sure that you're close enough to a recycler that you're close enough to a road um, and uh, basically you want to build around there because this will provide you with the best oh there's a guy in a helicopter oh god so even though we have enemies flying in it motherfucking flying sauces that will not get you discouraged you must always stay on track and stay motivated i'm just going to run over to the gas station first thing because there might be a crate in there we where we can recycle some stuff we and to make our first gun now the first gun that you will be making is an eoka pistol it is a one-shot pony um it doesn't go off on the first try when you click it you may go off on the the five fourth first it doesn't matter it's all random so um you know these supermarkets they have little pickups here uh the water pickups uh food pickups you want to eat all this stuff get to full health drink some of this water um now as i said most items have a recyclable value so this water jug for instance is 50 metal frags excuse the train that's going by train so you can throw that in there we got a bandana uh so this guy just ran up to us, and he didn't actually start attacking us. He has a hatchet, I have a rock. Obviously, he is a more powerful weapon. He could easily kill me if he wanted to. He chose not to. Um, 
we're just having a small chat. He actually doesn't have a microphone, so I didn't mute this, and I just uh, put some audio over top. So, yeah, I was just talking to him about how he's doing, but he wasn't saying anything back. He was nodding there how he was. Um, so, guys, in Rust, obviously, um, I'm just collecting all these components around the supermarket to make my first gun. My first gun is the Yoka. You need 75 metal fragments, I believe, or and like 100 or 200 wood. It's a, it's a pretty small amount. Uh, small value so I am currently plotting to take this man out um, so what I'm thinking about obviously getting those metal frags and that wood for the uh, yoka I am also thinking about creating a bow a bow is the most one of the most versatile weapons for primitive fighting um, you can also make a nail gun through recycling it's a little more than a yoka and you need to make uh, you know nails to shoot through your nail gun um, but the Yoka is really strong, really close up, and it's really cheap for your first gun. Uh, so as I'm just going around the supermarket, obviously collecting little bits and pieces, I'm making sure I'm keeping tabs on my recycler, because at any point in time, this guy could come up and take what's in this recycler, and I'm like, dang it! So, you gotta protect what's yours, and you always gotta be on the defense. If you can never trust anybody, I wish you could trust some people, but I have been screwed over so many times that, uh, you honestly, it's better not to trust people. Um, or, you know, do it at your own risk. If you don't care about losing your stuff, man, go have a good time. You know what? It's all about having fun, so you just decide how you want to play. Um, obviously, just making sure I know where he is. Um, so, obviously, when I want to make a bow, for a bow, you need 200 wood, you need 50 cloth, and you need, like, at least 100 stone. That's what this is uh, to create your arrows and your bow. Uh, your bow only takes, obviously, cloth and wood, and the arrows take wood and stone. So... Uh, while I have my Ioka, I'm not crafting it just yet, but um, so I'm just getting all the essential materials for building my first couple weapons. Obviously, uh, to survive a <laughs> survival-based game, you need to have weapons. Hell so, yeah! um, some people would argue, oh, Scotty, you should go set up a base first and then put your stuff in there and you'll be, that's the way to do it. You can do whatever way you want. This is just the way that I do it. And uh, I like, honestly, all the PvP and, like, you know, that early game risk of, you know, because if they have some stuff, you have some stuff. If you get what they have, you could be, you're essentially taking their time. Could be, like, 20 minutes. And um, either way, so I'm now crafting my Yoka, and I'm going to start sneaking up on this guy, and I'm going to make my bow. Hey, man. What's good, homie? How you doing? What are you doing? That's it. So, as we've gotten our first kill now, because he obviously didn't kill us, but then again, this is a survival game, and I would have told you that you should kill everybody that you see. Unless you have a big amount of experience, and you know exactly what you're doing. So, we crafted our first gun just by getting some metal fragments and some wood from uh, stuff around this just this one area. We haven't been playing for any more than 15 minutes. And you've already crafted your first gun. You've crafted your first bow. You have some arrows. That's great, man. That's great that I now have arrows. But, Scotty, how am I supposed to build a base? All right. This is your next step once you've acquired your weapons. You quickly clean up the area that you're in and you recycle the last bit of stuff that you need to do and then you always got to be thinking in your mind what's the next step what's the next step so i'm just finishing off my recycling run here but then i'm going to go ahead and build some basic tools now you can see in our little inventory there on the bottom we have a pickaxe um, pickaxe gathers nodes we need to make a stone hatchet which will gather wood and then wood is essential for building the base um, so basically uh, we didn't actually have to go out and gather too many nodes or trees because the guy that we killed actually had some stuff. So this is why it is a good thing to fight people. I, you know, I wouldn't recommend doing that in real life. Uh, not at all. But, uh, in here, totally cool. You do whatever you want. You can just have fun. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm just building the building plan and the hammer. Those are for essential building. Uh, one lays it down, the other upgrades it. That's what the hammer will do. Then I'm building a door and a code lock. Sorry, key lock. Key lock is for solo players. If you're playing with two people, a code lock. Um, so as I'm building these things with the materials that I've gathered uh, from the recycling run and stuff like that, I am now going to decide on where I want to build. Um, 
you always just got to keep working on the next thing, next thing, next thing, make sure that you're in cover. So I would have argued that I should have actually maybe tried to hide somewhere in a corner while I'm crafting my stuff and figuring all that out. Um, but anyways, we're out of there. We had our PVP. Now it's time to go quickly build our base. Uh, I'm going to, you basically don't, you can't build right beside these monuments. You have to build within a uh, distance from it. Um, you cannot build beside somebody else's base. This is, uh, I'll go into it later, but a tool cupboard is what you need for your own building privilege. Um, so when you're going to find a base to, uh, place to build, you need to make a tool cupboard to claim it as your own. Some bases don't have them, but I'll explain that. There's two options you have when deciding on where to build a base. You can add on to a base like this that has no tool cupboard. If there was a tool cupboard here with a lock on it, we would not be able to build. We need to destroy it. Um, and you could use Yoka bullets for that, or you could use fire arrows um, at the low level tier that we're talking at. But uh, you'd have to break the tool cupboard, and then you could place your own, and then obviously you have the building privilege that no one else does. Uh, when looking into a decayed base, if it has a level 1, 2, or 3 workbench, um, those are very valuable and it'll save you a lot of time if you just manage to come across one of those without actually having to farm the stuff for yourself. Um, so that would be one of the things that I would look for. And obviously in that last one, if it has a design you haven't really used before, don't really add on to it. Um, you can if you want, just play around, have fun, but I would stick to the basics. So here we are, we're just gathering a little bit more wood and we're going to start building our one by two right beside the supermarket. Um, it's a pretty good area and then this is where we shall build. A two by one, uh, just like that, boom, 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 boom. Put a door, put your roof, and then start upgrading. So you, that's why you have your hammer. Uh, also place your door in your code lock. Make sure that you press E on it, you lock it, you've now secured your area. Boom, 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 boom. Upgrade everything that you can. There you go. So now that you have your two by one secured and you have your gun, your bow, you're off to a really good start and we've gotten our first kill. The next things that you need to do is you need to build an airlock which allows you to have one backup door. So you open your first door, you close it, and then you open your next door to go to the outside world. That way no one just jumps in your base and takes your stuff. You then have to build the TC. TC is a tool cupboard, it costs a thousand wood. Uh, it is building privilege in your selected area. So obviously if you're with friends, they're gonna have that uh, building privilege, um, but you need to build that so no one else can build onto your area. And then we need to build a sleeping bag, which is a respawn point. I'd suggest having many of those around the area. Let's go. So when building your base, I'm just working on the second air, the airlock here. I heard something outside and thankfully it was just a boar. Um, if that was a person and I was already outside, I would have probably attempted to fight this guy, but if I was inside and he started crouching up... Sir, I hate to inform you, but you left your front door open so everybody came in and took your shit. Make sure you gotta pick your battles and you wanna try to secure your base as quickly as you possibly can. That way you risk very little and you can get right into the PvP and going out and try to take on other people's stuff. So once you have your tool covered crafted, go back to your base, place it into your base, Make sure you authorize on it because it'll make sure that you are the builder. Let's just slap it there. You're not authorized. Bottom right of the screen, building, building is decaying. Uh, whatever your base is made out of is what it's going to require to upkeep it. So we've only put stone and wood into this base. There's no metal yet. Metal would be classified as a metal door. Um, so when we look at it, 199 wood, easy. Some stone, easy. And that's how you keep your base uh, upkeep so the base will not degrade over time. Um, with the TC you can put in all kinds of uh, essential resources like cloth, scrap, metal frags, HQ, stone, anything that you can uh, I don't want to say anything but just uh, you can take a quick look at what I'm putting in there obviously like anything animal related can be put in there uh, any basic resource can be put in there uh, I think you can even put uh, what else uh, you can't put any components or any tools, so that's why you just have a box. And you're like, boom, 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 boom. So now that in case if I go out and I die, I do not lose everything that I have of value. Um, as you can see, uh, we are starving in the bottom right of our screen. So that'll indicate that we need to eat some food. Now, when obviously we just killed a boar, so we'll cook this food up. 
Uh, but it's also very beneficial to be obviously by the supermarket. So in any way, uh, we could just go in there, you know, because these that supermarket, everything in there responds about every like five to 15, 20 minutes, depending on how full the server is. The server is based, uh, the respawn rates are based on how many people are actually playing. So to wrap this one up, guys, I would turn all of our wood walls to stone. I would change our wood doors to metal. I would then get a furnace. A furnace is animal fat and cloth together. That makes low grade. Um, so a furnace requires low grade stone and wood to make. Uh, once you have that, you have some metal cooking. So you need metal ore, obviously, in the furnace uh, to get the metal fragments out. Um, so change all your walls, change your doors, make sure you have an airlock. And then uh, if you have extra time, guys, I would work on getting a tier one workbench. It requires a little bit of metal fragments, uh, 75 scrap and some wood. And then the tier one workbench allows you to make actual metal tools. You have to learn all these things, obviously, but over time you'll get it. If you guys want to see a part two or if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're on a